unique places only in the Sunshine State. Siesta Beach Popular beach Siesta Beach can be found in Sarasota, Florida, on the state's west coast. It is famed for its fine, white sand that is 99% pure quartz and is cool to the touch even in the hottest of climates. With recognition from groups like TripAdvisor, Dr. Beach, and Travel Channel, Siesta Beach has constantly been rated as one of the best beaches in the United States and even the entire world. Lifeguards also monitor the beach to ensure the security of swimmers and other beachgoers. Visitors can engage in a variety of other activities at Siesta Beach, including fishing, kayaking, and paddle boarding, in addition to swimming and tanning. Siesta Beach is a terrific place to spend the day or even a weekend because there are so many stores and eateries close by. Coral Castle A distinctive stone building called Coral Castle can be found in Homestead, Florida. The building was allegedly constructed entirely by Leeds Kalnan, a master stonemason and engineer, using only straightforward methods and tools. Numerous megalithic stones are present in the construction, including a 9-ton gate that can be opened with the touch of a finger, a 28-ton obelisk, and a 23-ton table that were all purportedly transported and put up by Leeds Kalnan alone. Coral Castle is now accessible to guests, who can tour the location and discover more about Leeds Kalnan's amazing achievement. On the property, there is a museum featuring displays about Leeds Kalman's life and career, as well as a gift store, a tropical plant garden, and sculptures. Whimsyland In Safety Harbor, Florida, there is an eccentric and colorful art piece called Whimsyland. It was made by Todd Ramquist, a local artist, and his wife Kiara Linda, who started adorning their house with amusing items in the early 1990s. Their home and yard became into a blank canvas for their artistic expression as they added increasingly strange objects over time. Today, Whimsyland is a riot of color and texture, with every available surface covered in a bewildering assortment of found objects, from painted signs to old shoes to plastic flamingos. The artwork, which the Rampquists have referred to as a folk art wonderland, has gained popularity among tourists who value the couple's fun, irreverent approach to art. Visitors are invited to the location, where they are encouraged to look around and appreciate the Ramquist's distinctive artistic style. Bach Tower Gardens In Lake Quails, Florida, there is a 250-acre garden and natural preserve called Bach Tower Gardens. The Singing Tower, a 205-foot neo-Gothic tower that houses a carillon, a musical instrument made up of a number of bells, is the focal point of Bach Tower Gardens. It has 60 bells the largest of which weighs 12 tons. Additionally embellished with beautiful stone carvings and mosaics, the tower provides breathtaking views of the of the surrounding gardens. There are many different types of flora and animals living in the gardens at Bach Tower Gardens, including rare and endangered species. The location is well liked by history buffs, wildlife lovers, and anyone looking for a tranquil getaway from the hustle and bustle of daily life. Venetian Pool in Coral Gables, Florida, there is a historic public pool called Venetian Pool. The pool's distinctive design, which combines natural coral rock formations, waterfalls, and a bridge, was created in 1924 in the manner of a Venetian lagoon. It is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and is one of the biggest freshwater pools in the country. Every day, the pool is drained and replaced with spring water from an underground aquifer to maintain the purity and freshness of the water. The pool also has a grotto, two waterfalls, and a number of alcoves where guests may unwind and take in the scenery. The public is welcome to swim at the Venetian pool, and those who want to unwind can hire cabanas and lounge furniture. The pool is a must-see attraction for visitors to the Coral Gables region due to its distinctive architecture and historical lore. It has been in various movies and television series. Jules Undersea Lodge in Key Largo, Florida, there is an underwater hotel called Jewels Undersea Lodge. The hotel is 21 feet underwater, and guests must scuba dive down to it to access an airlock. Once inside, visitors can unwind in one of the two private rooms that have portals and views of the marine life nearby. The accommodations include a private toilet, air conditioning, and a mini-fridge packed with snacks and beverages, among other amenities found in a standard hotel room. Diverse underwater activities are also available for guests to partake in, such as guided scuba dives, underwater pizza delivery, and even the mermaid encounter when a trained mermaid will approach the windows and engage with visitors. For those seeking excitement and a chance to discover the underwater world of the Florida Keys, Jewels Undersea Lodge offers a singular and remarkable experience.
reservations are required and the hotel is available all year. Casadega The psychic capital of the world is Casadega, a little unincorporated village in Florida's Volusia County. It is well known for its spiritualist population. A group of spiritualists who were looking for a place to practice their religion openly built the town in the late 1800s. There are various mediums and psychics in the area who provide readings and spiritual direction to guests. The town also offers tours where visitors can learn about its spiritualist traditions and history. Casadega offers a one-of-a-kind experience that is certain to make a lasting impact, whether guests are looking for spiritual instruction or simply a quiet getaway from the hustle and bustle of daily life. Morikami Museum and Japanese Gardens In Florida's Delray Beach, there is a museum and garden called the Morikami Museum and Japanese Gardens. George Morikami, a Japanese immigrant who donated his property to the state of Florida in the 1970s to build a center for Japanese culture and arts, is the name of the museum and gardens. A focus of the museum's displays is the experiences of Japanese immigrants to the United States as they investigate the history and culture of Japan. Along with interactive exhibits that let visitors learn more about the Japanese language, cuisine, and culture, the exhibitions feature traditional Japanese artwork, clothing, and relics. Visitors can engage in traditional Japanese arts and crafts classes, take guided tours of the gardens and museum, or attend cultural events like tea ceremonies and festivals at the Morikami Museum and Japanese Gardens. The Morikami Museum and Japanese Gardens in South Florida should not be missed by those looking for peace and quiet or a chance to learn more about Japan. Skunk Cape Research Headquarters In Okabe, Florida, there is a tourist attraction and research facility called the Skunk Cape Research Headquarters that is dedicated to finding the elusive skunk ape. Legend has it that a humanoid creature known as the skunk ape lives in the marshes and woodlands of the southern United States. The center provides expert guides who have a thorough understanding of the area flora and animals on guided excursions into the nearby marshes and woodlands. The Skunk Ape Research Headquarters offers an entertaining and distinctive experience for visitors interested in the bizarre and unusual, despite the fact that scientists and researchers continue to disagree on the reality of the skunk ape. The center also offers educational opportunities to discover the significance of protecting natural ecosystems and the neighborhood ecology. Butterfly World Insect Arium and Butterfly Park Butterfly World is situated in Coconut Creek, Florida. Over 20,000 butterflies from all over the world live in the park, which was established in 1988. There are also numerous other insects, birds, and plants there. The indoor and outdoor exhibits at Butterfly World include a butterfly aviary with a waterfall and a butterfly museum that displays the life cycle and behavior of butterflies. Additionally, there is a lorikeet encounter, a working butterfly farm, and a hummingbird garden where visitors can observe the many stages of butterfly metamorphosis. Families, nature lovers, and anybody else interested in learning about the natural world frequently visit Butterfly World. The park also provides educational programs, workshops, and special events throughout the year for organizations and schools, including butterfly releases and live bird displays. Spook Hill in Lake Wales, Florida, there is a gravity hill called Spook Hill. It appears as though a minor downhill slope is actually an upward slope when there is a gravity hill, an optical illusion that makes this appear to be the case. Visitors to Spook Hill can leave their vehicles parked at the base of the hill and experience this bizarre occurrence firsthand. The instructions tell visitors to put their cars in neutral and watch as they appear to defy gravity and roll uphill, seemingly on their own. Even though the gravity-defying phenomenon at Spook Hill is really an optical illusion brought on by the topography, the folklore and eerie ambience of the place continue to draw tourists from all over the world. The Ringling Museum The John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art, usually known as the Ringling Museum, is one of Florida's biggest museum complexes and is situated in Sarasota. John Ringling, one of the five Ringling brothers who ran the renowned Ringling Brothers in Barnum and Bailey Circus, created the museum. The museum houses a diverse collection of artwork, including European, contemporary, and Asian pieces. Additionally, it has the greatest collection of circus memorabilia in the world, which includes costumes, posters, and other relics from the Ringling Brothers Circus. The Circus Museum, which houses a collection of wagons, costumes, and other circus relics, is a part of the Ringling Museum. Live circus performances, including his acrobatics, juggling, and clown acts, are also available at the Circus Museum. 
The museum attracts visitors of all ages and interests and provides a distinctive and enthralling window into the world of art and circus culture. Stetson Mansion the Stetson Mansion is a historic residence that was constructed in 1886 for John B. Stetson, a well-known hat maker and philanthropist, and is now located in DeLand, Florida. The mansion is on the National Register of Historic Places that is regarded as one of Florida's most stunning and historic mansions. The Stetson Mansion has unique hand-carved elements, stained glass windows, magnificent woodwork, lovely gardens, and fountains. Visitors to the home can take a guided tour of the grounds to see the 10,000 square feet of interior space, 16 distinct parlor rooms, and the mansion's other distinctive and historic features. Visitors can take tours of the Stetson Mansion throughout the year and learn about the family's history, the mansion's architecture, and other elements that distinguish the house from others. The mansion provides a wonderful background for a range of special occasions and is also available for private events and weddings. Flagler College in St. Augustine, Florida, there is a private liberal arts college called Flagler College. Henry Flagler, a well-known entrepreneur and real estate developer who played a key role in the growth of Florida's East Coast, was honored when the college, which was established in 1968 as a women's college, was given his name. The student body of Flagler College, a co-educational university, is currently around 2,500. Numerous undergraduate degree programs are available at the college in subjects like business, education, communication, and the arts. The structure was painstakingly renovated to preserve its historic character and includes stunning Spanish Renaissance architecture. Flagler College is renowned for its steadfast dedication to the liberal arts and for offering students a well-rounded education that equips them for a variety of graduate degrees and vocations. The college is a distinctive and well-respected institution in the state of Florida because of its historic campus, cutting-edge amenities, and demanding academic programs. Dry Tortugas A collection of tiny islands known as the Dry Tortugas can be found about 70 miles west of Key West, Florida. The Dry Tortugas National Park includes the islands, which are renowned for their pristine beaches, clean waterways, and old fort. A collection of tiny islands known as the Dry Tortugas can be found about 70 miles west of Key West, Florida. The Dry Tortugas National Park includes the islands, which are renowned for their pristine beaches, clean waterways, and old fort. From Key West, travelers can take a ferry or a seaplane to the Dry Tortugas. On Garden Key, camping is also an option for people who want to spend the night and spend more time in the park. The Dry Tortugas is a singular and breathtakingly beautiful location that gives tourists the ability to investigate history, ecology, and culture in one of the most isolated and unspoiled regions of the United States. Dunlawton Sugar Mill Gardens In Port Orange, Florida, there is a public park called Dunlawton Sugar Mill Gardens. The park has a number of gardens, nature paths, and historic structures in addition to the remnants of a sugar mill from the 19th century. Today, Visitors to Dunlot and Sugar Mill Gardens can tour the Sugar Mill's ruins and discover the development of Florida's sugar industry. Along with a nature trail that meanders through the nearby woodland, the park also has a number of gardens, including a butterfly garden, a bromeliad garden, and a cactus garden. The Dunlot and Sugar Mill Gardens host a number of events throughout the year, such as art exhibitions, concerts, and holiday celebrations, in addition to its natural and historical features. With activities for everyone, the park is a favorite stop for tourists who are interested in history, wildlife, and outdoor recreation. The Whale's Rib In Deerfield Beach, Florida, there is a well-known seafood restaurant called The Whale's Rib. The eatery is renowned for its flavorful seafood, relaxed ambience, and warm service. The Whale's Rib serves a range of seafood items on their menu, including clam chowder, crab cakes, shrimp scampi, and, of course, their fabled whale burger, which is topped with cheese, lettuce, tomato, and onion and is constructed from a combination of beef and bacon. Additionally, the eatery offers a selection of salads, sides, and sandwiches. The Whale's Rib has been a favorite among seafood enthusiasts in South Florida for more than 30 years and is a well-liked tourist destination as well. The Whale's Rib is a terrific option for anyone seeking great food in a lively, laid-back ambience, whether you're in the mood for a casual lunch or a romantic dinner. Southern Hill Farms Florida's Claremont is home to the family-run farm known as Southern Hill Farms. The farm, which specializes in cultivating blueberries, peaches, and sunflowers, also hosts a number of annual events and activities for guests. 
visitors at Southern Hill Farms can harvest their own blueberries during the blueberry season, which normally lasts from April through June, and take advantage of other activities including hay rides, live music, and food trucks. Additionally, the farm holds a peach festival in May that includes fruit harvesting, live music, and a variety of cuisines with a peach theme. Southern Hill Farms offers a number of different events throughout the year in addition to its fruit picking activities, such as a sunflower festival in the fall and a Christmas tree farm during the holiday season. Anyone who enjoys eating fresh, locally produced food and being outside will adore Southern Hill Farms. It is a pleasant and memorable location for guests of all ages with its lovely fields of blueberries and sunflowers, live music, and family-friendly activities. Please like, subscribe, comment and share this video if you enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching.